Halloween is in the air. Hey guys, welcome back to another spooky episode of Reviews from the Crypt. Today's episode on Reviews from the Crypt is going to be on the uh, Angel of Death from, I believe, maybe 2013. If I'm wrong on that, I'm sorry. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the categories. actual video I would like to apologize for not having a black tarp background like I usually do but this guy is just simply too tall and it wouldn't quite work plus he would blend in a lot and it just it's a lot easier to do it this way as well anyway getting on to the categories the first category is quality now the angel of death features um, hard plastic face chest and hands which as you can see are just the typical seasonal visions hands I'll get better shots of those in a minute and a completely metal exoskeleton, which um, it supports them pretty well. And if you can see, there are actually uh, three poles down at the bottom, which allows him to be quite a bit taller than most other Seasonal Visions props are. Here are the mechanisms for his wings, which hold him up and flap them. And it does come with a creepy cloth to pull down over the mechanism so that they're not as visible. I would also like to mention that he has an IR sensor on his chest, which does work pretty well. So far I have not experienced any problems with mine, although I know that there can easily be problems with him. I know he's not the best made prop of all time, but however mine has not had any issues, and I can't actually prove so far that he is faulty, so I'm going to go ahead and give him one full star for quality. The next category is price. Now, the Angel of Death is not a Spirit Halloween exclusive, and in fact is not even still on their website, so his price varies from where you buy him. The cheapest I've seen him is about $170, which isn't really too bad. Of course, I got mine for free, but $170 is definitely worth it in my opinion. Because if you look at it, uh, Towering Chain Ghost, who I think is about the same size, is $200. Uh, Cornstalker is $230 as where a lot of other towering props can end up being quite a bit of money. So this one is actually not a bad price if you consider it. So overall, I'm giving him a full star for price. The next category is animation. What you're about to see is an unedited demo of the Angel of Death, who is foot pad activated. So let's go ahead and step on it. So as you guys can see, he has some very nice animation. He turns his head, flaps his wings, and he has some very nice spooky sayings. So overall, another full star for animation. Time for the final category, which is the creepiness overall of the Angel of Death. Just mostly the feeling of, you know, death looming over you while you're just walking underneath him or maybe just walking up to him or something in a haunted house. Just, I mean, mostly just the feeling of death looming over you is scary enough, but the fact that he moves and has all these creepy phrases just makes him all the creepier. He also features quite a bit of detail in his um, face. It's some of the best skull work I've actually ever seen. That's pretty impressive. 
uh, as well as the rib cage look really nice. Uh, I also like how they added these uh, little bones hanging on the chains. It's just kind of a grim effect. It gives off a very eerie, spooky effect as well as the, the creepy cloth everywhere. Just tattered remains of a skeleton or a reaper or whatever. So he's very, very creepy, and I am going to give him another full star for creepiness. Now it is time for the final judgment. I gave him one full star on every single category, which gives him five stars out of five. This is one of the best ratings I've ever given a prop. I would highly recommend this guy. I haven't experienced any problems with mine at all. He's not my favorite towering prop. I would have to say probably Cornstalker is, but this guy is a close second. I've always been intrigued by him. His phrases aren't the best. I feel like maybe it could be a little bit more, you know, poetic or whatever for a Reaper, but they're still very eerie and very cool. So overall, this guy is a great animatronic and I would highly recommend to anybody consider buying. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned on Morris Manor where Halloween is in the air and where I do reviews from the crypt very often. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.